During this presentation, I'm going to demonstrate hyperlinking topics. So here I've created some maps already. Uh, people, so we've got Tom, Dick and Harry. And in Harry we've got an appraisal map and a tasks map. And then I've created three projects, Alpha, Beta and Gamma. In Alpha we've got a marketing plan and a, uh, a plan plan. So if we go into people and open up Harry's tasks, and look at his top task there, create a plan, we can link that to one of the project maps. So if we open up the inspector and choose a map, we'll go to projects, alpha, plan. That creates a link from that topic to that uh, plan map. We'll do the same for the marketing uh, link there, marketing topic there. We'll choose projects, alpha, marketing. So those two topics now link off to different maps. If we press one of them, it will automatically open that map. And then we can select back to take us back to the original map. Again, marketing, open the marketing map, and then back will take us back to the original. So if we open up the uh, plan and we associate that marketing topic with the marketing map, projects, alpha, marketing, and then press on that topic, that will open the marketing map. We can go back and then back again. So you can drill down as far as you like and come back up uh, just by pressing back. So now if we go into the plan and then into marketing and we come back up. Now if we want to uh, choose a specific map rather than back right the way up, just press and hold the back button and now we can choose a specific map to go to. Uh, other things that you can, uh, th there are other types of links that you can add to a topic. Uh, an email, for example. So if we bring up the inspector, we can see there's an email address associated with that topic. And there's also a notes field. And in that notes field, we've put the, the, the body of an email, if, essentially. So now when we press on that topic, it will create us an email filled in with the email address and the subject, which is set to the uh, topic text and the contents of that notes field and then uh, a bulleted list of the subtopics. So that's a great way to um, uh, create emails from your maps. Now, um, linking all those maps together can be quite tedious if you've got lots of them. So uh, there's another feature in here where we can create uh, an index map. So if we create that in the root and then we select that map to be based upon the folder structure and save, that will enumerate all of the maps uh, in iThoughts and turn them into a, a mind map, complete with links. So there we can see we, we drilled into Harry's tasks and then into marketing, and then we'll go back and again and again, back up to the index map. And then we can go into the appraisal map, you can see there, so that creates a map of maps automatically. We could even copy one of those branches and paste it into, uh, here I've got a getting things done map. I'll paste that branch into there. So there I can see uh, the people and I can then hyperlink into those maps just like before. And one final type of um, linking that we can do is to associate a web link. So here if we just type in a www address then we can uh, uh, tap on that topic and it will open a browser and launch that web address. And there we go, it's opened the website. Okay, so that is hyperlinking topics in iThoughts. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy using iThoughts. Thank you.